On the Build Show today, we're visiting Brian Long's job site where he's done an incredible job on this fluid applied house wrap. We're back visiting my friend Brian Long's job site. If you remember, we were here a couple weeks ago and Brian showed us his incredible foundation waterproofing system. But in today's episode, Brian's finished framing and he's already waterproofed his house with this fluid applied weather resistive barrier. Brian, what is this blue Smurf house we're looking back, back here? This is the Polywall uh, blue barrier system. And we've used their uh, 2400 product and their 2200 product to achieve this. And Brian, you and I both have done a lot of houses before with traditional house wraps and peel and sticks. How does this fluid applied compare to those? Well, I've used several fluid applies in the in the past, but this system has got a much longer uh, exposure life than the other products that I've used, which is one of the reasons we went to it. Doing the size houses we do, there's times where these houses could sit five, six months, yeah. no problem, before we started getting, you know, sidings on it. Mm -hmm. And so that's always the concern is the degradation of the product that's been applied. And tell me about how this compares in terms of air sealing to some other products or other methods you've used in the past. Well, this is going to uh, achieve a much, much higher uh, barrier system. And I'm not relying on any type of adhesive like mm -hmm. you would if you're using like a sheet membrane. Right. And the problem I've always had there is in Texas, it gets so hot in these wall planes that you'll actually see the seams start to peel back and roll back. And anytime you have that, then there's the opportunity for air or water to get back in there. That's right. Now, Brian, I noticed that your framing is flush with your foundation. Tell me what you've done there. Well, what we did is this house is going to have a basically a masonry tile mm -hmm. applied over a stucco brown coat. Okay. And so by doing that, we wanted to make sure that we had a unified plane that went all the way down into our brick lugs and everything else. So what we did is we moved the foundation out where it would line up evenly with the half inch OSB that was applied to the walls. Gotcha. And then how did you use that 2200 in that joint basically between your foundation and your framing? Well, in our framing, as we were setting all of our sill plates, instead of using a foam or, you know, some type of other uh, barrier, we used the 2200 as a, and bed set all the sill plates right into it. And then after we got our sheathing down, we came right to the edge of all the masonry along the bottom and filled the gap between the framing and the foundation. So we have a 100% seal. There's no chance of bugs or you know, anything getting in there, termites, anything to be able to get in there. That's beautiful, Brian. You know, that's a place I see as a huge uh, place for us to increase our air tightness and our bug sealing on American houses. And to see that fluid applied that sticks both to concrete and to wood, you've totally sealed off that joint. That's that's gorgeous. Thank you. Tell me about the, the applying system here. I know you could spray it or roll it. You decided to roll on this one. Tell me about the basic steps that you went to uh, to get to where we are today. Well, we had to go through and fill any of the gaps between the sheathing, any big gaps, anything over about an eighth of an inch. We came in with a 2200. We trialed it in smooth before we started rolling on the product. Okay. Once we rolled on the product, we would go in and, and it is, uh, it is reactive to humidity, so you have to make sure that it's not too humid a day or too hot because it, it will give you a problem rolling it. Gotcha. Uh, I would prefer to spray it, I think, for several reasons. I think your labor rate will go down exponentially by spraying it because it's, you're going to get a lot more coverage a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you're going to get a better coat. You can get the full coat. It gets into all the crevices a little bit better than a roller head because anytime you have a roller head, it, you know, it can roll over some things after it gets matted down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but overall, it supplied a, you know, we were able to get it done, and it really applied a very thick membrane to the entire house, which oh, I think yeah. is going to be super durable. What do you think the millage is on this here? Oh, this is every bit of 60 mil. It's probably pushing 70, 80 mil. I mean, yeah, because it, yeah, yeah. it's rolled on. And so it's, <laughs> we use a little bit more product, but it really will be durable, and that's what we were looking for. That's what I love about you, Brian. You're a belt and suspenders guy like me. Yeah. If you can do it in a way that's more bomber, you're always going to do that, and that's what I love about this house. I mean, you're, it, not, you're not going to build the type of homes that we build and not, you know, you don't want to cut corners. These, right. these clients are coming to us because they're looking for a really quality product something that's going to be what i call a lifetime house that's right and this smurf house is going to get covered up with your cladding but for the lifetime of this house it's going to air seal it's going to waterproof it's going to bug seal so why not do the best job you can i love it absolutely any last tips for anybody brian you can think of 
look into the polywall system. I, I think if you're using anything else, you know, sheet membranes, especially if you're in a climate like we are where you have heat, mm -hmm. you know, you're really doing a disservice to your own company by not having something that is going to give you the durability of this product. Yeah, and the other thing that I like about this too, Brian, is that really this can be used in any climate. This is vapor permeable, so you can use this in the north. In the south here, we're really looking for that super air tightness because anytime air leaks in, it's bringing humidity, which can cause problems in our houses. It's an incredible system, and you did a killer job on this. Thanks, Matt. It's always a pleasure. If you guys want to look up Brian, I'll put a link to his company in the description, and there'll be a link to uh, Polywall and all the products we talked about today in the description. Thanks for joining us, guys, on The Build Show from Brian Long's job site. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.